there's something in pigs called million pigitis, and I wrote two ways here. I think this way might be correct, but it's not a not a real word. word okay, but the point is in pig production because there's so many pigs. If you improve anything by 10 cents times a million pigs is, is a lot of money. But that's not really what we are trying to do here, okay? What I'm trying to do here is touching on that gestation, okay? We mentioned uh, about this already. Um, there is a big percentage of sow farms today around the globe, 30%, 40% of the, the sow farms might be on the fat side. And we, you know, even within a given farm, 30% are fat. So that's not good. Uh, because, and why the, did that happen? Because people try to fix birth weight, um, you know. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Do -do -do, cells, others. They said it was a combination of folic acid and vitamin B12 with B10 in gestation, which did show an improvement in litter size. Very interesting. Thanks for sending that, David. This is very helpful. Einstein did some work on digestible calcium. Fall. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Federico. And I mentioned that. Dr. Stein and Dr. Carolina Vega did a phenomenal job there. Um, very good, appreciate it. All right, so let's look at this. The cost of gestation diet, I'm just putting a number here, 18 cents of US dollar per kilogram, okay? Um, might be a little more, might be a little less, just a ballpark. Um, and if you're feeding 1.8 kg of a corn soy diet versus 2.8, that's a one kg difference, okay? The less, you know, from day 90, as uh, many folks like to do. And uh, that's 22 days, okay, until they are, 100, they are 112. And that's uh, 2.4 farrowings per sow per year, right? So we're gonna multiply that one kg right here times 22 days times 2.4, you get right here, 53 kg of feed per sow per year, okay? All right. And again, you know, again, folks from all over the globe, just because I'm saying it's a corn soy diet, it doesn't mean, again, because if you have a lower energy than a corn soy, you just do the math. Oh, it's a 10% less? All right, 10%. So 1.8 plus 10% is two, right? So it's easy to convert, right? Regardless of ingredients that you're doing, okay? All right, so 53 kg times 18 cents, it's $9.5 per sale per year. So that's roughly 10, right? Well, roughly $10 per sow per year if you do that. Again, if you're doing to the whole herd or not, but but uh, that's gonna depend. And it does not take into account stillborns, okay? Improvement, this math, because 1% is stillborn improvement, it'd be about $10 per sow per year. So that's virtually gonna double this number, okay? We're really looking at the, the, the simple scenario. So let's say if you have 15,000 sows, just to get a smaller producer, the savings will be $150,000 per, um, per year. And um, that's good, right? That's already paid the salary of the nutritionist. So that's good. The, the producer will be happy. And then uh, how many years to reach that $1 million? Uh, it's probably around seven years, right? Seven years. So because these savings are going to be every year. And... Some of you, some of you that might not be familiar with a lot of this, um, you know, a lot of these um, data, the, the the performance data behind it. The bottom line is there's virtually, you know, there's probably only negative effects of giving more feed, right? Unless she's thin. I mean, if she's thin, which is a small percentage, they need more feed. It's very, very obvious, right? All right. So let's. I know we have CP and other systems, but let's say if you have a hundred thousand cells. That's gonna be $1 million, right? The $1 million answer, but that's in one year, right? So this is very simple, I know, um, but you know, a lot of talks, sometimes uh, you might have some researchers, there are two, maybe the word is utopic, right? I don't know, utopia, right? Uh, always have to look at this, okay? $1 million, it's a lot of money. Um, and I get excited when I when I help producers uh, be profitable because that's really the difference. I mean, $10 per sow per year, you know, you have say 20 marketed pigs per sow, we're talking 50 cents uh, per pig, depending, I mean, 20, maybe more, right? 
but 50 cents per, per, per market pig, it's a lot of money. 